In this video, I wanted to talk about Kiddo's new feature, which is the mask feature. You can use this to mask out different things. I'm gonna show you why this is so important and give you five ways to use this new feature in Kiddo. Let's go. Hey guys, this is Juno with Detour Shirts. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the new mask feature in Kiddo. Now the mask feature is very important because now it adds a way for you to mask out something. Previous to this, this mask feature, you would have to block out the graphic design with a, like a black box or whatever the background color of it is. And then when you try to export it, you would still get that black box. So in this way, with this new feature, you're gonna be able to mask everything out and you don't have to put like different things to block out the graphics. You can cut the graphics or crop the graphics in a way so that it shows up on the shirt and has a transparent background. So this is very important to Kittle. This is a great step for t-shirt design in Kittle. I'm gonna show you five different ways that you can use this. So it's always great to get new features in an app and I wanted to show you how to use these new features instead of you just um, putting it on the side and not touching it. So I'm gonna give you five ways that you can use it. There's lots of different ways that you can use these masks, but hopefully these ways will help you in your t-shirt design or whatever you're designing and to use this mask feature as part of your design. So let's get into Kittle right now. Let's not waste any time and let's go into the five different ways that I can show you to use the mask feature. So here we are on Kittle, Kittle.com right here. And I love coming on Kittle. Every time I come on here, there's like new stuff and look at these templates. Wow, these are so cool. I wanna, I wanna make t-shirts like these. These are cool anime t-shirts. And of course there's other stuff. I, I got some of my stuff on here. But let's get to the task on hand and that is to use the new feature uh, mask. So I'm gonna start a new project. I like doing, uh, you know, you can do your standard, but I like doing 4,500 by 5,400. Even though we're not gonna make a t-shirt design, this is good practice for you to um, do a t-shirt design on this one right here. And then, uh, of course, the orientation is this way. Uh, 72 DPI is fine. You can do 300 DPI to make it super crisp, but uh, you can leave it at that. Okay, so I'm gonna hit create. And here's this right here. So the new mask feature is right here under elements. And you go to shapes and you can see it's number three right here. This is all shapes, uh, basic shapes and mask. They just added this um, maybe a week ago or, or less. I'm gonna show you how this works. So the first one I'm gonna show you how to do is called what I'm calling the simple crop. Just a very simple crop. Um, I'm gonna do a, um, grab this one. No, well, let's show all the masks first. So there's 62 of them right here. And if you wanna see all of them, let's do this. Look at that, all those. I'm hoping in the future they're gonna add um, letters to this too, but right now there's a ton of shapes and these are shapes that they, we already have on Kittle, but now these are mask shapes. So pretty cool. Um, let me close this and let's just do like a simple crop. So I'm just gonna use this guy right here, the rectangle, and I'm gonna show you how I would use this. So let's say I had a rectangle, let's go back to shapes and let's say I had a, a rectangle like this, right? And I. I made a design in here. Um, let's say it was a, let's do something fun here. Um, got a border right here. Um, maybe my color of my t-shirt is red, whatever, right? And uh, my background is maybe, well, let's leave it black, it doesn't matter. All right, so now that this mask, I have this mask here, watch what I can do. I'm gonna make this mask about the same size right there. And then let's look for a silhouette of a city. So I think I just type in city in elements and there's a bunch of cityscapes right here. So let's say we wanted to use uh, this city, right? I wanted to put my city here, you know, like a poster or, or part of it. And the only way we could have done it before, let me do it in white. Let's say I only wanted this part of the city. The only way we could do it before is to take like a square like we had before and go in here and then kind of mask it out this way and make, make this um, red, right? And then that kind of masks it out. And look, I have a mask city, but um, when you download this, this is still here. It's not a transparent background. You um, get rid of this red background, but you'll still have this red square. So how do we do it with mask? So um, we can do this. So let's put the mask here, um, same size, and we'll drag this into the mask. You see how I do it? And then let's get rid of this 
right here. And then double click on it, and you're gonna be able to size this down. So we'll move this and then just size it down to the size we want. So, and I could make this smaller, but I just wanna, I don't wanna move my window, but you could have moved your window. Okay, so let's see. See now, I'm masking it out of here and there's nothing in the background. And then I can move this, like if I want this the same color background or I could do a transparent background. So let's do this, transparent. And then I bring this back, whoop. I'll move this down and I bring this back up here like this and then it's mass. So now when I do the transparent background, it's just this, we don't have the red um, square. So you can do this with anything, anything that's longer than you want it to be. So if you had like a forest or you could do it with anything, right? So let me, let me go back here. Um, let's say beach. And let's say, let's do, let's take this guy out. Oh, I think you can just drop it in. So we got the mask on top. Let's say we want this beach instead. Boom, double click. You know, you don't want that jagged edge, you would just want it straight. Boom, it's cropped inside of it, right? Cool, and then because it's transparent, you can make this a blue background or whatever it is, right? And it's cropped inside of it. And you can make it bigger or smaller, let's say you want it cropped like that. Totally easy. So simple crop in a shape. You can use any of the shapes too. I just used the, the rectangle, but this is the simple crop. Um, great for things that you want to cut off the edges for or the bottom or whatever it is. So, so masking example number two, I'm going to show you how to crop something in half. So we're going to use the same one. Let's go back to this and I'm going to do the tall rectangle. You can use anything, but tall rectangle will work in this case. So let's do this. And let's say we want to crop something in half like this, half of the page, right? Like that. So let's do that. Um, and then let's do a sunflower. So we've seen these before. We'll take a sunflower, put it here, and maybe we only want half of it. So double click on it, move it to where it's half of it. Boom. And then of course, um, get rid of the background. Boom. Now you have half of this, sunflower you don't have to put a white square over here now you can actually crop it and then put your text here you all seen this and then you can put a face here you can do half of a world half of a whatever so this is very popular on t-shirt designs you've probably seen this everywhere i'll put some examples here but uh yeah just put your text here and away you go you got some really cool um design for a t-shirt and very simple we just cut it in half with the mask and away we go so the next idea I want to show you is how to crop it with like a distress shape. So there's a bunch of them here, which is really cool. I'm going to pull it up again, the mask. Uh, let's just do this one. It's the first one. So you can see it's kind of cool right here. Like it has some jagged edges, right? So let's do this. Let's uh, find anime. So right here, a lot of cool anime stuff just added to, uh, to Kittle. So you can do some colored ones, you can do some black and white ones. Look at all that cool stuff. So uh, maybe we just want part of it. So I'm gonna grab one of these and let me see, let's just draw that in there. Look how cool that is. And you can change the color of the background. Remember, um, this background can be transparent, but it can also be like a blue or whatever. See that? So you can say something about anime here. You've seen, you've all seen these t-shirts. Uh, I love anime or anime this. Now, it doesn't just have to be anime. I used anime as an example, but it can be a beachscape. It can be whatever it is. It can be a city, whatever photo you want. And in fact, they have photos on here. So, I mean, we could do it with photos too, right? So we could come in here and say, maybe I want, uh, I don't know, maybe this ski photo. Check that out. Isn't that cool? And it has the distressed edges and everything like that. So um, use it with photos, use it with bigger graphics. I like to use these with like um, bigger pictures that I wanna crop but have the nice cool edge. And this technique will give your design some interest and make people wanna stop and, and look at it. So I think this is a great idea. Again, there's a, there's a bunch of uh, masks here. So there's this distressed one. And if we go down, we will see this one right here. You know, we got this one right here. So 
a bunch of ways that you can do this. You don't have to just use that first one. But again, I love having that uh, distressed edge and it will help you give some interest to your t-shirt design. So in this next one, I'm calling it cropping it down. Now this will be really good for cropping something that's, um, well, we already showed how to crop it halfway vertically. I'm gonna show you how to crop it halfway uh, horizontally. And this is great for the vintage sunset stuff that we have on here on Kittle. So let me do a vintage sunset first. I'll type it in here. And Kittle's great, it has a ton of them. Uh, you can see all these different ones right here. But typically on um, t-shirt designs, we don't use the whole thing. We use like an arc of it. So maybe these two are cut off. Uh, again, before this masking feature, we would probably put like a white square over this so that you only see part of it. But with the mask now, you can actually mask it out. So let me show you how to do that. I'm gonna come here to mask again and pick one. It doesn't matter which one, but you want a straight edge on the bottom if you wanna cut that straight edge. So let's do this. Let's just do this one right here. And we're gonna have to make it bigger than the part that we want like that, okay? And let's put this in the back. And now we're gonna move this in here. So now it's in the mask, but we're gonna double click it and make it bigger or not make it bigger. We're gonna move the mask around. So double click and then we're gonna move this down like this and maybe actually make it smaller like that. Great. So now we're only showing this part of the vintage sunset. Again, we can come in here, uh, take this off. And now we have this shape, which is used a lot in t-shirt design if you go back and look at all the t-shirt designs with um, vintage sunsets. It's usually like this with a bottom edge that's cropped, that's straight, and that's because you can put text under here and make it work well, right? Um, we got the, we, we can do this in Kittle. We got the rounded text up here or straight text and then something in, on the bottom and then maybe a silhouette or something like that. So this right here, um, this is key for a lot of the vintage sunset designs that you may do on print on demand. And again, you can use all these vintage sunsets, right? So and you can use any of these colors. And the nice thing about Kittle is you can change these colors. So these right here, if you don't like that color of blue and maybe you want like more of a, a teal blue or whatever, you can do that, right? Make it darker like that. So uh, this is great for Kittle. Not only do you have the, uh, the right shape now and it's all masked out, you can actually change the color. So this one is one of my favorite uh, things to do with the mask in Kittle. I can see lots of possibilities with this and not just this one, but you can do it with any, any round shape. You can cut off the bottom and just have this arc. So great for any other circle shapes or any shapes uh, that you need the, the bottom cut off. The last one I want to show you, number five, is uh, cropping in a heart shape. Now this one's going to be really good for Valentine's Day and, uh, and anything that people want to say, I love this um, for t-shirts. So let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to go back and then go to mask again and pick a heart. There's a bunch of different hearts. I think there's three or four different ones. I'm just going to pick the one on the top here. And you can see there's that heart. Now what can we do with a heart? Well, we can do a ton of things. Um, and let's do like, let's say sports first. So let's say basketball. So we got a lot of basketball stuff in here. Let's just use this one. I'll do it in here. Now I'm going to double click and make it bigger. And there, oh, we got some pixelating going on. I'm going to refresh here. There you go. So if you ever get pixelated on your design, you can hit a refresh here. But look at this. Isn't that cool? A heart basketball. So what else can you do with a heart? So let's do um, elements here. Let's do flag. Right. So instead of that, let's say we love France. Boom. Or the UK. Boom. Check how easy this is. I can just switch out. Let's say this one right? Like super simple. I can make heart shapes for any of these countries. I can say, I love Spain. I love um, whatever, um, Germany, right? Boom. So quick. And then I can scale this here and, you know, maybe, maybe give it like that and say, I love Germany or, or whatever it is. Um, do sports, anything that people love, really put it in a heart and you'll have a, a really cool design. So I can see using this a lot 
especially with flags, um, with sports and, and other things. Patterns would be great too. So hopefully, uh, kid will add some more patterns, but check it out, check this pattern out. Boom, right? I can do it with patterns. I can do it with uh, people, photos, right? Maybe there's something that you love in one of these photos. I love coffee or whatever. Look at that. That already says love. So this is great for Valentine's Day, great for any uh, t-shirt design that you're gonna make that people love a certain hobby or a certain sport, a certain country, a certain, like there's lots of things people love and people love to buy t-shirts that say, I love whatever, right? On there, so uh, have fun with this. Um, I, I may show a tutorial. If you wanna see a tutorial on how to use this in a t-shirt design, uh, let me know that in the comments and I'll, I'll do a t-shirt design with it. But you can see there's like 62 different shapes for mass and so uh, lots and lots of different ways to use it. Um, Hopefully these are really helpful, get you started with mask. And I think it's really powerful, especially for t-shirts because we want that transparent background for us. So those are the five examples that I had for masking. Again, there can be lots of different examples on, on masking. If you're new to Kittle and need to learn what Kittle does or how to use Kittle, I have this video right here, which is like a full tutorial on Kittle. You can watch that and kind of get you started if you haven't tried Kittle again, or as a refresher, you can watch this video. Thanks again for watching. And as always, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one.